there's a new kid in the block. Ito yung bagong PFL team na Manila Montet FC. Gusto ko talaga i-comment yung club na to for doing things right. Sobrang layo niya compared sa mga ibang clubs. Sobrang kanta ng reach ng club na to. Gaining over 8.7k followers since yung nilaunch nila yung Facebook page nila. Halos like everyday nagpo-post sila ng content para sa mga followers nila. Which is hindi ginagawa ng mga ibang clubs. Yung actual league ng Pilipinas na merong uh, 117k followers. Yung social game talaga nila. Bihira mo lang talaga makikita na merong post or update sa nila. Funny thing is, yung mismong Manila Montet pa yung mga nagpo-post ng mga updates. Take for example, yung nagpost siya regarding sa pag-postpone ng start ng season. So originally plan, yung start ng season is uh, February, I think early Feb- February or mid-February. Tapos na-move siya into early March. And then, uh, then uh, nag-post sila like five days ago na na-move na naman uli yung start ng uh, PFL season. PFL announced yesterday that the season will now kick off in the first week of April instead of the initial planned March. Specifically, our first game will now set for April 7th at Rizal Stadium against the Gig United FC. Yung sinasabi niyang statement is uh, hindi naman talaga na-post or in-announce ng mismong PFL. I think within the team's group chat siguro, doon lang nila na-announce na na-move pala yung PFL season. So, which is the one thing na lacking dun sa PFL part. Kung in-announce min lang ng PFL yon na imumove nila yung season, wala nang problema eh. Gusto lang namin yung, as a fan, is yung transparency sa yung sinusuporta namin na league. Mostly yung mga supporters ng league na to, Philippine Football League, is yung mga diehard fans lang talaga eh. Bihira mo lang talaga makikita na merong casual fans na nanonood ng Philippine Football League. There's a lot of things na kailangan i-improve sa mismong league. I think kailangan nilang i-hire yung nagmamanage ng social media ng Manila Montet FC. Kasi kahit, kahit yan to lang, yung recent, recent post lang nila, gaining traction, pinumpo pa International Awaken, every single day we're blown away to receive applications from talented players all around the globe. Kahit ganun lang, yung mga like simple articles, Articles like regarding players, articles regarding teams, even like announcements. Na did that yung mismong league. Yung parang makakalimutan mo na lang na meron palang liga sa Pinas. Kasi hindi, ka na, hindi mo na nakikita sa scroll pages mo dito sa Facebook. Which is yung main platform lang naman ng league ngayon. Is yung Facebook talaga. Kailangan lang talaga i-improve yung reach ng uh, Philippine Football League. Kasi take for example, like yung recent post lang nila na ito. Itong yung parang simple. Like simple article lang. Nakareach na siya ng around close to 200 people. Hindi pa yun mismo yung actual people na nag-like or like nakalimutan lang nag-like. What if i-showcase natin or i-optimize natin yung mga contents natin para sa mga walang alam na meron palang football league sa Pinas? Like for example, get to know your players. Get to know the players na meron tayo sa Pilipinas. Like yung ginawa dun sa filiang Husband Brothers. Bakit pa sila sa makeup? Dahil ba yun sa promotion ng Football League or dahil merong pogi sa <laughs> PFL? So, wala ba tayong pogi ngayon sa PFL? Meron tayong pogi sa PFL? At yung pangalan nun is si Paolo Rice. Paolo Bugas Boys, pinapogi sa PFL ngayon. Authentic na Filipino yan. <laughs> Pwede tayong magawa lang ng mga highlight, highlight plays. Ito. Highlight Jan place lang. De La Riarte on the penalty spot. Gives the goalkeeper the eyes and sends him the wrong way. And De La Riarte sends it to the other De La Riarte on the right side. Jan takes a strike and an equalizer for Philippine Air Force FC. Late. Late drama here at the Rizal Memorial Stadium in bringing this game back into level playing field. Let's take a look at that again. John De La Riarte needed to twist and turn. As a casual fan, tas may hita mo yun. Cool as shit. Even yung the way na yung passion ng mga commentators during yung play na yun. 
ma ma feel mo talaga eh na oh chills kailan ko pa na oren to gusto ko lang i share yung story kung paano ko na discover yung football league sa Pinas or eh, hindi siya yung in a way na parang oh spark anong nangyari Wata ko na YouTube. Ano no, daw ng mga highlights ng mga Premier League. Oh, Manchester City. Oh, yeah. So sabi ko, meron bang football league sa Pinas? For sure, meron naman talaga eh. So sinerge ko, football in Philippines. Ano mo unang makikita? Mga ganyan. Yung mga national games. Yun yung unang lalabas for sure. So you'll think, ah, baka wala. Kasi mga national teams lang eh. And yung makikita mo naman, mostly yung mga national players natin is yung mga mix. So for sure, na nasa ibang league sila. Then uh, I think next next synergy ko nun is Philippine Football League. O tas, oh, meron suggested post. Wala pa nun yung Copa, Copa that time. And I think yung first highlight or video na yung nakita ko is yung, yung laro ng Cebu versus Iloilo. Ito, ito, ito. Ito yung first, ito yung first na video na ito. Oh. Sabi ko, oh, why not? Check natin. For the reason na kinlik ko yung video na to is dahil dito ako ngayon sa Cebu. And uh, born ako sa Cebu. Uh, I stayed here for, I think, eight years. Yeah, eight years. Tapos uh, lumipat ako ng Qatar. And then balik ulit sa Cebu. So, yeah, ito yung, ito yung first video. So, ito. Ito, ito ba yun? Nope. Hindi ito yun. Baka ito. Ito yun, ito yun, ito yun. Yes, yes, yes. Ito nga yun, ito nga yun. So sabi ko, oh, may football league at merong team base sa Cebu. So, cool. Then actually, yung sinresh ko dito is yung San Siling, is San yung stadium nila. Yung pala yung stadium nila. Diyan lang. Which is, sobrang layo ko. Sana ako nakatira ngayon. Kailangan ko magbiyahe ng, mga, let's say, one hour para lang makanood. And uh, yeah, nakanood ako isang beses nung naro nila sa UP, nung Copa Times. So ito yung first video na naparod ko sa nila. I think sin- sinasabi ko to most of the time na what if mag-advertise sila sa YouTube? Nandito mostly yung mga nanonood ng mga mga video-videos, yun ganun. Tapos uh, di ba meron mag-play na ad before yung actual video na actually papanoorin mo? And ngayon naman is meron yung mga algorithm like uh, for example, ako ay sports fan and uh, nakabase ako sa Philippines. And for example lang, nakatira ako sa Davao. For example, Davao. May football team yung Davao. Yeah, may, may ligaw sa sports. Nanonood ako ng football pero never ko pa na-explore na meron palang football na nasa Pinas. Tapos nag-click ako ng example ng highlights of uh, Manchester City. Tapos merong ad na lalabas na GGGG. Philippine Football League. Ganun, ganun. Like, what? May football league pala sa Pinas? Tapos talabas yung Davao Aguilas. Oh! <gasps> May Davao team pala na nasa football league. Imagine yung yung surprise na malalaman mo na meron palang football league na within sa mismo city mo, yung meron kang irerepresent. The way ad works, kailangan mong biglain yung tao. I think the simplest way para ma-reach yung mga casual, like normal people lang. Uh, within their cities is billboards uh, with just an element of surprise lang. Like what if you're driving down the road, makikita mo yung billboard. Yung, yung pagtingin lang eh. Yun na yung element of surprise eh. Yung pagtingin mo dun sa billboard. Human instinct, pag nakita mo yung billboard, is babasahin mo. Even if you're driving or mayroon kang ibang ginagawa. Subconsciously, pagtingin mo sa billboard, babasahin mo. Ano yan? Actually, hindi mo babasahin eh. Yung first titingnan mo as a person pag tumingin ka sa billboard is yung pictures. Ilalagay mo sa pictures na yan, yung mga, uh, let's say, any players within that city. For example, any players sa Cebu. Pag tingin mo dun, nakaposing sila sa billboard without even like actions. Like uh, parang yung casual post lang nila like as an IT picture, ganun. Then, lalagay mo dun sa baba, Cebu's football team. Ganun lang. Watch us on Facebook. Philippine Football League. Nandun yung curiosity mo pag nakita mo yung billboard na yun. Like, oh, may football team sa Cebu pala. Macheck ko nga yung Facebook page ng Football League sa Pinas. Napunta ka na doon sa Philippine Football League page. Now, ano yung gagawin mo? Ipopost mo doon yung schedules. Or nakapin doon sa... Nakalaki dito sa features. Yan. Or, yeah. 
features, yun, yun. Yeah. Nakalagay dito sa features, yung schedule ng upcoming matches. Napunta ka lang naman dito sa page na to kasi na-curious ka na meron palang football league sa city mo. Pagpunta mo dito, iti-check mo syempre yung recent post and schedule. Okay, ah, uh, recent post. Let's say 16 hours ago. Big sabihin, active sila. Iti-check mo yung schedule. Then you'll see na meron palang laro this Sunday yung city mo. Yung mental note mo that this Sunday, let's say 4pm, may laro sila said page na to. And uh, with that, nakapasok na sila sa circle ng PFL. Sa simple na billboard na yun, or sa simple na advertisements, dun mo makakuha yung mga tao na parang may alam naman sila sa sports. Pero yung parang kulang lang sila sa yung push para makuha mo sila sa as is your fan base. There's a lot of things talaga na kailangan i-improve sa Philippine Football League. Yung point ko lang dun is kailangan nilang i-optimize yung reach nila sa mga Filipinos. Yung tickets naman sa mismong match is reasonably priced. Definitely for mga mid, mid-class mid up. I think nung first, yun natin ko na event sa Cebu, uh, FC is uh, yung Copa. I think yung ticket that time was 200 per person. And meron silang yung VIP. I think 400 which is for me okay lang naman yung price sulit yung experience pero the thing is malayo yung stadium dala hindi mo naman necessarily kailangan kumain dun sa stadium to get the most out of the experience talaga nung atmosphere ng uh, sport is kailangan mo talaga i-enjoy every single aspect of it na kailangan mo talaga mag-spend na pera uh, I'll say na medium and uh, higher classes talaga football sa Pinas Pero kung hindi mo naman talaga afford na manood in physical, gusto mo lang isupport yung team mo, nandyan naman yung free Philippine Football League live stream na nasa Facebook. So I think for now, talaga i-optimize yung re- reach and huwag iwala yung free na live stream sa mga, sa mga tao-tao. I think to end all that, manonood manonood na lang tayo no? actual game na pinanood ko as a person which is the day na convert ako from a casual fan to a diehard fan of Philippine football. Wala na mga problema dito sa image quality ng, ng PFL. Gusto ko lang talaga. Madami yung ma-reach out or ma-inform na merong football sa Pinas. Yun lang talaga yung wish ko. I think hindi <laughs> wish ko nila multiple times sa uh, simbahan. Sa sobrang passionate ko na i-expand yung league na to, pinagdasal ko siya kay, kay Lord. <laughs> yeah, I'm really hoping na gawin lang seryoso yung itong league na to. Kasi nakikita ko talaga may future yung league na to eh. The way na yung mga actual highlights nung Copa pa lang, yung underdog story nung Dava Ogilas, Yung tinalo nila yung Cebu in convincing fashion. And yung Cebu yung favorite within those bouts. Yung Cebu yung may budget. Yung Cebu yung mga nagta-travel uh, sa iba-ibang countries. May sponsorship sila sa Cebu Pacific. And madami sponsor yung Cebu. Tinalo sila ng Davo Aguilas. And to top it all that, yung finals noong 2023 Copa. Davo Aguilas versus Kaya FC. Yung Kaya FC na pumunta ng AFC Champions League. Almost tinalo ng Davao Aguilas yung Kaya FC. Kung hindi lang umabot sa penalty shootout. Yeah. Ganong ka ganda yung football league. Yung quality of entertainment ng football league sa Pinas. Gusto lang talaga with passion and everything na gusto ko sa life. Gusto ko lang makita yung maging successful yung Philippine Football League and maging like it will unite people with low, medium, or high or ano, ano man na merong Football League sa Pinas. So, kung sino ba ngayon yung mga nagmamahala ng uh, Football League sa Pinas, please, please, please Seryosohin nyo po yung pagdala ng Philippine Football League. I know, dinelay nyo yung start ng Philippine Football League kasi meron kayong kausap na media groups. Please don't make it unaccessible sa mga casual fans. Have it more reachable muna. 
sa so, ayok sa kayo mag go into this subscription base ano ano man yeah i know it will bring revenue pero those revenues lang is nandun lang within those people na nandun na sa fan base nyo so ano gagawin nyo to sa mga people na walang kaalam alam na mayroong football league sa pinas kailangan nyo muna is uh, to have the mindset na football is for everyone for all ages and uh, for all class enough na so manood tayo ng uh, highlights nung first ever na pinanood ko na Philippine football match and uh, it so happens na pinalda ko na yung itong football match na napanood ko is from from Dynamic Herb Cebu and uh, naglaro sila sa home stadium nila which is the only game ni na Rosa Copa outside sa Rizal Memorial Stadium and uh hmm. Sobrang salamat sa yung owners ng uh, uh, CFC for making it happen na mag-host ng kahit isang game lang sa home stadium nila. And I think, uh, theory ko lang naman, sila yung nag-fly in ng UP sa Cebu. Yun yung theory ko lang. Kasi may alam ko may pera sila. Kasi sponsored sila ng Cebu Pacific. <laughs> So yeah, manood tayo ng yung first ever game na napanood ko sa Philippine Football League. Naho po oh, this area. And uh, I think meron daw picture ng no, actual reaction ko sa first goal. And uh, yeah, uh, sobrang emotional moment yun para sa akin. Uh, I made a bet for myself. Pag nanalo sila sa game na to, is bibili ako ng home kit nila. And uh, yeah, nanalo sila sa game na to, which is uh, nice. I don't know if mahanap ko ba yung actual clip ko o yung first goal ng... Uh, CFC sa Copa. Pero yeah, yeah, sobrang lumabas yung lahat ng emotions ko. And uh, yeah, nilo na tayo. Let's start this match and here we go. Yuki playing from left to right. Goal, come on. Morayama to take this corner. Out swinger inside the box. And it is. And that is the first goal for the night. Yun yung first goal na na witness ko. And bro, I was in ecstasy. Header ni Uzuka. Togashi. Back to Togashi. Down the byline. To the middle. Okay. Beautifully. Narinig niyo yung mga tao? Ganun yung atmosphere sa CFC Stadium or yung stadium ng Philippine, uh, yung stadium ng Dynamic. Every like close chances nandun yung mga tao. And doon yung fans, iba, 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 iba yung atmosphere sa Cebu, which is, eh, wala namang experience sa ibang stadiums. Pero yung passion, nandun yung passion eh, pag naglaro yung Cebu, sa Cebu itself. And yeah, I can't wait talaga sa PFL season this year. The best yung feeling pag uh, nandun ka sa stadium itself. Pabalik ang bola with J.B. Borlong and uses the overlap. Here's the cross inside the box. And here's the chance. No goal. It's not going to be counted, says the referee. It doesn't do justice yung, yung actual roar ng crowd kapag meron close chances yung CFC. Nakita yung mga tao. Oh, ito ako actually. <laughs> Nakita yung mga tao. Like, not much naman, pero it will do. It will do. To inform lang talaga everyone, ito lang talaga yung actual seat ng uh, uh, football stadium ng uh, Dynamic. Ito lang talaga muna. Uh, I hope mag-expand sila din sa yung mga gilid-gilid. Medyo puno, in my perspective, akala ko puno talaga. Hindi, na, hindi naman gaano, I think. Uh, pero decent enough. Kahit ito yung lang yung actual like, uh, number of attendance mo each home game okay na if you're a football player 
Tapos ito yung makikita mong crowds like sobrang passionate ng mga crowds na makikita mo. Man, okay na. Okay na talaga. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Ito, 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 ito. I think in-expand na nila ito eh. I think meron na tong seating dito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nung last pumunta ako, I think uh, two, two months ago, alam ko may upuan na dito eh. Hindi na ganito yun eh. So yeah, good, uh, good to know na meron palang expansion sa uh, dynamic. From Murayama. Still with Murayama. It's in the middle four. Yeah. Ahsoka. And that is it. Two-goal advantage in a race. From Chima Uzoka. <laughs> Iba yung laro ni Ozuka talaga dito sa game na to. I think kailangan niya talaga yung push ng crowd. Yeah. Top form striker siya dito sa game na to, man. Ito na hindi ilalabas. Arda with a strike saved by Cachuela. Yeah, Ozuka na naman. Ozuka! Hindi ka na. Cachuela ang bola. Kamay ha, kamay ha. Pati on goes low and it's saved. By crowd check, crowd check, crowd check. Yeah, like, decent na, di ba? Ikaw, ikaw yung maglalaro, tapos ito yung crowd. Decent na. Ganito yung atmosphere sa dynamic curb Cebu. Okay na talaga. Sana, sana, they will do things right dito sa season na to. Na-expand sila. Hopefully, i-expand rin nila yung people na nanonood. Nakikita nyo yung background. Ito. May problema, may problema ba kayo dyan? I think ako lang naman eh. Yeah, hindi masyadong nice yung location ng uh, stadium. Pero with, pag, nilagay na, pag nilagay na ito ng yung seats, hindi mo, hindi mo malalaman na meron palang ganyan na uh, scenery sa likod ng stadium eh. Oo oh, na eh. Tatatakpan lang yan. Oo oh, na yan. Like, ganito kalaki. Ganito siguro kalaki. Oh, dito yung roof. Oo oh, na. May, may titignan mo na lang. Oy, may mga coconut trees pala sa likod. Good shit. Di ba? Di mo rin malalaman na meron pala yung mga unfinished houses na ganyan. Pero, yeah. Oo oh, lang. Okay lang talaga. Cano Oculus. Which is more long. And the degree here. One inside the box. And the chief will land there. Knocks me down. Damn, man. Uh, iba siguro yung atmosphere dun. Scoria against Kaya. Tinan mo yun, like, tumatakbo sila. Tumatakbo sila sa crowd. And tinan mo yun may reaction ng crowd, man. From a free kick as well. Light touch. Back to Angeles. Now with a chance. Nobiraki! Ooh, crossbar. It's a crossbar. Wonderful shot from the Kiwi. So that chance here from Lapit nun. Nobiraki. It's not. Uh, pero nawaka natan niya ng no keeper. This is our Daiso. Challenge there. And Ibu, here comes Daiso, the danger man. Daiso, man. Delicado si Daiso. Attendance, man. Not down. bad. Not bad. Not bad na yung Philippine football, di ba? Let's do things right this year. And uh, hopefully, the expansion will work. And sana, let's expand the supporters of the PFL also. All right. Thanks.